multilingual and globetrotting with her own jewelry line, from a rocky beginning in an Ethiopian orphanage to her time at an elite women's college, here's the truth about Zahara Jolie Pitt. Public interest has swirled around Zahara ever since she joined the Jolie Pitt family at six months old. Angelina Jolie has remained open about the circumstances behind the adoptions of Zahara and her brothers Maddox and Pax. In an interview with Vogue India, Angelina spoke of valuing her adopted children's cultural identities, saying, "...when they are from another race and foreign land, that mystery, that gift is so full. For them, they must never lose touch with where they came from. Honor them, learn from them, it's the most amazing journey to share. They are not entering your world, you are entering each other's worlds." Angelina Jolie had previously believed Zahara to be an orphan. However, in 2007, Reuters found a woman who said she was Sahara's birth mother, Mentiwab Dawit Labiso. In a harrowing interview, Dawit explained that she had been a victim of sexual violence and was unable to care for Sahara at the time of her birth. To make matters worse, the infant was sick and malnourished. She told the publication, "...I was desperate and decided to run away rather than see my child dying." Fearing Dawit had died, her mother put the child up for adoption. Soon after Zahara's adoption, the family checked her into a New York City hospital to be treated for dehydration and a salmonella infection. After a rocky start, baby Zahara recovered, and the happy family was finally able to start their lives together. Zahara was officially adopted by Angelina Jolie in July 2005. Brad Pitt then adopted the girl in early 2006. Maddox may have been the first to know that Zahara was a perfect fit for their family. Maddox and Angelina Jolie visited an Ethiopian orphanage in 2005, where they saw Zahara for the first time. Maddox, who was only three years old, was instantly smitten with his soon-to-be sister. In 2005, All Star magazine spoke with orphanage workers who had observed Angelina and Maddox as they got to know their newest addition. One caregiver reportedly told the outlet, when Maddox looked at the baby, he blew a kiss as if he was saying that was the girl who he wanted for his sister. These sweet beginnings laid the groundwork for what is surely an unbreakable bond between the siblings. The two are still close, as evidenced by Maddox returning home from Yonsei University in South Korea to help Zahara get settled at college. The Jolie Pitt kids are famously well-rounded, from their scholastic achievements to their interests in sports, fashion, and humanitarianism. Angelina and Brad's kids seem to have the world at their fingertips, so it's no surprise that all of the siblings have taken to learning new languages. In an interview with BBC Radio 4 in 2016, Angelina revealed that Zahara Jolie Pitt chose to learn French. While talking with the BBC, Angelina shared insight on how her children relate to people from other cultures, particularly those impacted by war and other humanitarian crises. The actress said, "...I want them to meet people around the world and have so much admiration and respect for people suffering different realities and surviving them with such grace and dignity." They are from different backgrounds. They don't deny the difference, they celebrate the difference. Surely Zahara's francophone skills will be a huge asset as she continues her travels and her humanitarian work. Zahara Jolie Pitt is known for her dazzling red carpet looks, but in 2019 she sent fashion lovers into even more of a frenzy when she stepped out at the premiere of Maleficent, Mistress of Evil in gorgeous jewelry that she designed herself. Her jewelry line, which she named the Zahara Collection, was a collaboration with Robert Prokop, the famed jeweler who once designed Brad and Angelina's engagement rings. The young jewelry designer's red carpet look showcased several pieces from her upcoming collection, including earrings, a bracelet, and an elegant citrine ring. Best of all, Zahara chose to donate all of the proceeds from the Zahara collection to charity. House of Ruth Shelters, an organization that provides transitional housing for domestic abuse survivors, was the beneficiary. It seems that Zahara has certainly inherited her mom's eye for fashion, as well as her heart for philanthropy. In a 2019 interview with People, Angelina Jolie revealed that none of her children are interested in acting. Of their future aspirations, she told the magazine that they were into, quote, business, humanitarian affairs, things like that. Still, growing up so close to the industry has surely made an impression on the Jolie Pitt kids. Over the years, a few of Angelina Jolie's multi-talented minis have tried dipping their toes into various aspects of showbiz. In 2017, Angelina's son Maddox Jolie Pitt served as an executive producer on First They Killed My Father, a film about the Cambodian genocide which took place in the 1970s. Pax Jolie Pitt also worked on the project, acting as a set photographer. Shiloh Jolie Pitt appeared in the 2008 film The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, and following in her big sister's footsteps, Vivian Jolie Pitt portrayed a young Aurora in 2014's Maleficent. I'm so lucky that I have a job where I'm able to bring my children to work. 
In 2016, Zahara had her moment. She showed off her voice acting skills as Meng Meng in Kung Fu Panda 3. The cast included her siblings Pax, Shiloh, and Knox Jolie Pitt, as well as her mom. Hi, I'm Cuckoo. I'm Meng Meng. I'm Shui Shui. In 2014, Zahara also appeared in the uncredited role of Girl in Maleficent. Angelina Jolie encourages Zahara to stay connected with her Ethiopian roots. Zahara has visited her country of birth several times since her adoption. In 2019, she had an extra special visit when she met with Zahale Workzaudi, Ethiopia's first female president. Accompanied by her mother and sister Shiloh, the three sat down with Zaudi to discuss the country's history and culture through women's eyes. The women addressed important topics that impact Ethiopian society, such as public health and education. They also discussed issues like access to sanitary pads, as Ethiopian women and girls are often forced to stay home from school when menstruating due to a lack of access to menstrual products. The Jolie Pits are a close-knit family, but Zahara seems to have a built-in best friend in her sister Shiloh. Born less than two years apart, the sisters share many common interests, like their mutual passion for humanitarianism. Both of the accomplished siblings are lifelong human rights advocates who often join their mom abroad to address poverty, displacement, and public health issues. Zahara and Shiloh also bond over shopping excursions. The duo is often photographed out and about with their mom carrying handfuls of shopping bags. The young fashion icons also enjoy upcycling their mom's older red carpet looks. In October 2021, Shiloh appeared in a stunning black and white dress originally worn by Angelina. The same year, Zahara stepped out in a show-stopping metallic beaded gown handed down from her mom. More than anything, it seems like the sisters genuinely enjoy each other's company. Even when they're not traveling abroad or hitting the LA shopping scene, they find joy in quiet moments together. In September 2021, Angelina posted Instagram photos of her eldest girls enjoying some downtime together at home. In a 2020 interview with E! News, Angelina Jolie got real about the excitement and mayhem that come with having a large family. Sharing a glimpse into their daily lives, she explained, You know, I've never really been one who valued relaxation. I like chaos. The star described how she balances work with family time, saying, I've been on high-level meetings where there's dogs and balls and kids and things. You kind of just enjoy being human with everybody else and laughing through it. Still, even those who thrive in chaos need a little bit of order sometimes. Luckily for Angelina, Zahara Jolie Pitt seems to help balance out the upheaval with her amazing organizational skills. While Angelina tries to provide structure for her children in the form of schedules, she has admitted that Zahara is the queen of keeping their home organized. Zahara is the most organized in the family. For decades, Angelina Jolie has championed human rights. From supporting refugee children to advocating for women's liberation, the star's humanitarian efforts span across many nations and causes. On World Refugee Day 2021, Jolie spoke about the conditions that fuel her fight, remarking, "...the way we as an international community try to address conflict and insecurity is broken. It is erratic. It is unequal. It is built on inherited privilege. It is subject to the whim of political leaders, and it is geared toward the interests of powerful countries, including my own, at the expense of others." In 2008, Angelina and Brad donated $2 million to help fight tuberculosis and AIDS in Ethiopia. At the time, more than 900,000 Ethiopian children had been orphaned by AIDS. As parents of Zahara Jolie Pitt, it's easy to see why the nation's public health crisis is close to their hearts. As a gesture to their beloved daughter, Angelina and Brad created the Zahara Program, which funded an AIDS and tuberculosis clinic in Ethiopia. Just like her mother, Zahara Jolie Pitt seems devoted to creating positive change in the world. In 2021 and early 2022, the teen joined her mother in Washington, D.C. as an advocate for the Violence Against Women Reauthorization Act, a measure that aims to address and prevent domestic violence. According to the National Network to End Domestic Violence, the bill also contained stronger measures to support LGBTQ individuals and to expand tribal jurisdictions. The act was signed into law in March 2022. In February 2022, Angelina Jolie posted to Instagram about her visit to D.C. with her daughter, writing, I'm grateful and humbled to join with dedicated advocates and legislators. I'm also glad to share in the advocacy with Zahara and for her presence to calm my nerves before today's press conference. The young activist also joined her mother and sister Shiloh Jolie Pitt at a Syrian refugee camp in Jordan in 2018. Is this the girls? Yeah. 
The future looks bright for Zahara, who began her college journey in 2022 at the esteemed Spelman College. Founded in 1881, Spelman is a historically black women's college that specializes in science and liberal arts. Zahara joins a long list of iconic women with roots at the Atlanta Georgia University, including Dr. Bernice King, Stacey Abrams, and writer Alice Walker. In late July 2022, Angelina posted a photo on Instagram of Zahara smiling with a group of her friends, announcing that her Spelman girl was off to college. Everyone in the Jolie Pitt family seemed to be thrilled for the college freshman. In a red carpet interview in August 2022, Brad Pitt boasted about Zahara, telling Vanity Fair, "...she's so smart, she's going to flourish even more at college. It's an exciting and beautiful time to find her own way and pursue her interests. I'm so proud." In 2023, Angelina Jolie made her first foray into fashion by founding Atelier Jolie, a brand that attempts to bring a socially conscious, sustainable perspective to its designs. According to Vogue, Atelier Jolie will also prioritize community outreach by hosting a gallery space for New York artists as well as a café where proceeds are donated to refugee organizations. Along with her brother, Pax Jolie Pitt, Zahara has played a large role in Atelier Jolie, working with her mother to bring the vision to life every step of the way. She helped her mom select the location for Atelier Jolie's storefront, 57 Great Jones Street in New York's NoHo district. After plenty of scouting, Angelina simply knew that the building was perfect. She told Vogue, I can be very impulsive, but Zahara is so grounded, decisive, and thoughtful. When she agreed, I felt we were both decided. Zahara also helped ensure that the brand is inclusive of all skin tones. Angelina told Vogue about how her daughter's difficulty finding products that matched her complexion inspired her to challenge industry standards, saying, "...obviously, as a white woman, I've never had this experience. It never crossed my mind until we went shopping together and I saw that there's so much room for improvement."